and Sagittarius and cross watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we are going to take a look at your week ahead tarot reading for February 23rd through the 29th. Please keep in mind guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something here in the message. I also want to touch really quickly on energy and time is fluid. So you might find this has already happened or a lot of times people will say this has happened at a later time. However, I do ask if you find the messages helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like future messages, feel free to subscribe as everyone is always welcome. So let's get started here, Sag. We're going to use the Wisdom of the Oracle deck to tap into the energies around you. Say a little blessing before we get started. Please Spirit, we thank you for the most positive and guiding message for our subscribers. Please allow positive guidance through whatever our friends need to hear. And please, Spirit, protect me, the viewer, and the cards from any negative energies. Thank you again, and blessed be. All right, Sag. So, let's jump right in here. Most important message here, Spirit, for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to see for the week of February 23rd through the 29th? Please and thank you. Most important message here for Sagittarius. Observer and deep knowing. One more card here, please. I feel like there is a situation that you're having to make a decision, okay? And I feel like you're kind of sitting back and observing how this is playing out right now, but I feel like there's something that you're going to have to leave behind in order to move forward that makes sense and I feel like you intuitively know what this is and I get the sense that there's a little bit of resistance like you don't want to let this go type of thing um, take some time with this let this marinate let's see let's see here Saj we can see for you guys. Let's get to the golden tarot with this reading. We are going to start with the fairy tarot first and then we'll move in with the golden tarot. So let's see here, Sag, what we can see. We're going to pull a few cards for the overview of this reading. And then we'll jump right in. So let's see here. Most important message for Sagittarius Spirit. What does Sagittarius need to see for 23rd through 29th of February? resistance like I said okay so I feel like this is a significant person in your life this is definitely a person who may be very um, cold emotionally very practical when it comes to decisions the Princess of Spring is the Page of Wands, okay? So that is paying attention, paying attention to the details. Um, I feel like there is a situation here 
or communication is going to be key. I feel like getting orga organized and um, getting clear on what you want the outcome to be is definitely going to be beneficial. There's this coldness to this whole thing, this conflicted energy, okay, of you know what you need to do, but you don't want to do this is what I'm feeling. There's resistance to this change. Knight of Swords. So, I get here, Sag, that there is a little bit of defensiveness, okay? There's also this kind of um, battle being waged here between you and another person, kind of like a tit-for-tat energy. And they that might be what needs to be let go of here, um, is this conflicted energy. You have to either let the conflict go or let the person go because this is, is causing a lot of tension here and eventually it's going to be released okay one way or another I feel like you ultimately know that this is going to be released but you're fighting against this or this other person may be fighting against this could go both ways Saj Tap into the energy with the golden tarot. See what else we can see here. Let's break it down. Break it down. Most important message here for Sagittarius spirit. What else does Sagittarius need to see for this week ahead? Five of Cups with the Page of Cups. So I feel like there is somebody looking back on the past. Somebody here is apologizing for whatever it is that they've done in the past. And um, maybe you've gotten to a point that you're uncertain if you can keep forgiving. Let's see. More about this spirit for Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person, this person's behavior is kind of like in and out, back and forth. It's like an uncertain type of behavior. And I feel like, Sag, this Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, remember, this could be reversed, but this in and out energy is causing this, the other person to be like enraged. Um, to be stressed, be resistant of anything moving forward in this because of how the other person acts, okay? Now, there is an apology coming in, but I don't feel like this is a sincere apology. I'm sorry, I don't. I feel like this is just causing more stress, more anxiety, The Nine of Swords with the Devil. Stress, codependency. There may also be some overindulgence that's going on here that needs to be observed. Um, there's some illusions, okay? I do feel like there is a deep connection here. But I feel like these secrets are becoming very burdening in this connection okay i also feel here sag that this back and forth energy this do i stay or do i go it's causing delays in the healing process 
because every time you go back, you're kind of like re-entertaining if this is going to work and then you're let down when it doesn't. And I feel like there's a lot going on in this connection, okay? There is a lot of back and forth, staying, going. That's why there's a need here to stand your ground, Sag. Um, if this person comes back, then you have to stand your ground in what you say. You can't just allow this person to come back in because I feel like they know that you're going to be allowing them to come back. At some point, people have to grow up. So let's get a few more cards out here, see where this is headed. This is exactly where I thought it would be headed. Okay, taking a step back, focusing on yourself, um, your growth, your healing process, and sticking to that. Okay, because I feel like when you keep going back and forth, do I stay? Do I go? Is this person my person or not my person? I feel like you intuitively know what is going on here. You're just ignoring this for some reason. Maybe you guys have a connection. Maybe there's is a children involved, or maybe there's some type of um, contracts that you guys have together. Understand here, Sag, that not even if there is like a twin flame soulmate type of connection. We have multiple soulmates in our lifetime and not always do those connections work out. We can still have happy relationships and it not being a soulmate twin flame connection. You may also have somebody else who's more on your level that's ready to bring this together. I do feel here that this is a sense of loss, a sense of heartache. I do feel like you guys may have had a family, may have had children, or have had discussions about this for sure. Because I am getting the sense of like a family, a long, long term type of situation. Let's get a couple cards. Now understand here, there is a lot of sadness. There is also a lot of like heavy energy burden. Um, the Nine of Swords is like a nightmare card, like being kept up at night, not being able to let things go. So let's take a couple cards here for the advice, Sag. Moving forward, moving forward, moving forward for sure. So we got the Eight of Cups. This is ending, okay? Um, I feel like it's a process. I don't feel like it's going to happen overnight. I honestly don't feel like it's going to happen over a week either. However, with the Ten of Swords coming out, this is like... There's lessons that you've learned within this connection that you're taking forward. So don't, don't feel like this is such a loss. Okay. In a lot of decks, this 10 of swords, the swords are lit up. So it's like an enlightenment or being open up emotionally. I feel like there's going to be a new opportunity that's going to come in. That is going to be more on your level ready for this long-term commitment that you're looking for. This new beginning could also symbolize a reconciliation. So it could be that you walking away from this connection helps wake this person up as well. Okay. It could go both ways. So really here, Saj, 
ultimately focusing on what it is that you truly want the outcome to be and then taking steps to move towards that. If there's been a lot of toxicity, a lot of water under the bridge, I don't ever recommend staying in those types of codependent relationships unless there's like therapy or counseling that's sought together because there's definitely healing that needs to take place and there's this back and forth energy like a tit for tat one up game um, coming through here in the cards, okay? I am going to do an extended reading. In the extended reading, we'll take a look at your partner's intentions, how they're feeling about the situation. We'll take a look at where this is going and we'll pull out the soul truth, the psychic tarot, and the guidance cards. So if that's something you're interested in, the information will be below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.